welcome back to Auto Animals. I'm James. I'm Henry. He's a Henry. Um, we uh, we bought something, and we don't know whether it was a good idea or not. No, um, we have bought a 300 quid shoe <laughs> box. <laughs> um, I think we're kind of inspired by the Vectra videos that we've done. Yeah, the, the Vectra for 50 quid. Yeah, you guys seem to really enjoy the Vectra videos, so uh, we're hoping we'll get. Yeah, you know, people enjoy this one as well. Uh, we're not sure what we're going to do with it yet, but we are very much open to comments. Do let us know down below what you think we should do with this. But without further ado, let's meet uh, our 300 quid shift box. Are you ready? Yeah. Da So you are looking at a Mark V Vauxhall Astra from 2004. 1.4 litre petrol, no turbo. No. Um, it is the absolute definition of a box. It is battered to absolute hell. Um, <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's absolutely filthy, but it doesn't really matter. I don't even know if this wiper actually works properly anymore. No, Henry sort of knows of this car and its history a well, bit. This, but, uh, this was my runaround car for a little while, because I know the owner quite well. And then recent MO, recent, what should I say, recent servicing crews at the MOT will probably cost about £800 to pass. Yeah, basically long and short of it is the MOT run, we're filming this now, start of September. The MOT runs out at the end of October. And there's a very, very high chance it is going to fail the MOT. Is that bird shit? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> it could be anything. Keep fit windows, though. Yeah. I mean, wow, which explains why the one on that side isn't shut, actually. Right. There we go. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> she just made that worse. Whoops. <laughs> How have you made it worse? Yeah, so you can see it's in pretty ropey state. Um, we're not sure what we're going to do with it yet. There's there's two options at the moment. One is we are going to rag the crap out of it and do stupid videos with it until it dies and then sell it for scrap. The other is try and revive it, um, which I'm not sure is going to be viable. Well, to revive it, it's going to cost us a pretty penny. Yeah. However, it could probably be an AA car. Oh, it's all wet. It means all wet. Almost no, just how it's got. It's got a gas strut. Yeah. So it's uh, filled with water. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good. Yeah, that's design floor right there from Vauxhall. <laughs> that's not seated at all, is it? No, so that straight away is an MOT failure. Oh, good God. At least mine's held down with the Ugh. best thing in the world called zip ties. Yes. That's a new battery as well, isn't it? It's the only new thing, isn't it? Uh, that's my battery. <laughs> yes, that's why then. Okay. So one of the reasons why this is flagged up is because this sensor here, this is your oil pressure sensor. Yeah, I looked at that. Is um, leaking. That's not as bad as the ones I've seen. No, but that is a new part and it's still leaking. Oh, I was gonna say it's not expensive to get a new part, but if that's a new part, that scuppers my plans. Can't we just like tape it up or weld it or something stupid? Or just put something you, around who has it. A well Actually, does Adam have a welder? Yeah, I think so. I know how to weld. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's doable. My point is just enough to pass this MOT. Yeah, but there's more that needs doing. So there's three out of the four pistons are misfiring. Yeah. 
which I don't know why I think it's a um, broken piston ring, which isn't. Well, tell you what, let's let the ladies and gentlemen hear it. Do you want to start it up? And um, please rem stand the recommended safe distance of 50 feet away in case no, of explosion. No, no, I'm not. I'll tell you what though, just please remember this is a petrol. Remember what? Oh. What? Not my Land Rover. Remember what a petrol's supposed to sound like. Now that sounds nasty. That's not a pretty sound, is it? Not a pretty smell either. No, no, no. Um, I mean, the, the important thing is, um, it runs under its own steam. It does move under its own steam. It's been sitting on my driveway for what, three weeks now. Yeah. Uh, this is the second time I've moved it. It does start eventually. Second time this morning. Um, normally, it starts on a dime. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. It's just. Potentially unkillable, but um, but it's nowhere we'd be willing to go without taking without taking the freelander without yeah. taking the beast. Yeah, that's that's the support vehicle for this car project. We will not be taking this car anywhere without um, it. It just is it now idling? I think it's now idling. Yeah, it just got quieter. That can be. Also, the, the 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 engine cover looks clean, but we think that's just oil smeared all over it. That's just the actual engine cover. There should be another cover. Oh, there should be another cover. Okay. Yeah, you can probably kill it now. Oh. What? Oh, don't look at your drive. Oh no, what have you done? Oop. That's nice and sooty. Oh, it stinks. That absolutely stinks. That, it's unburnt petrol. That, I think, is what's left of the oil that's in the engine. Oh, yeah, we should point out, it's got another oil. Is it a bigger oil leak than just the sensor? To be confirmed. Okay, because basically, from what we understand, um, if you put a can of oil in it, it'll be gone by the end of the day, uh, all over your drive. So, yeah, that's why. Have, and I have um, oil stains on my drive to prove that. Yeah, so. it's currently got no oil in it. This is this is, this is the reason we haven't driven it anywhere. I think hopefully we're going to do a video of how long can we use the engine until it blows up because there's no oil in it. Maybe it depends what we're, what the game plan is for this. Do we try and rescue it? Maybe flip it for a profit, or do we uh, do we just trash it? Um, on the plus side, remote central locking. Yeah, and it's got one touch up and down on passenger and driver's side electric windows. And it's got electric mirrors, although the one on the driver's side, so unsurprisingly, doesn't work. It's yeah. amazing that this car is almost as, as high tech as mine, and mine's a Land Rover. Yeah. And this is 2004, so this is like an early Mark V. 18 months older than mine. Yeah, Astra H, I think they call these. But uh, yeah. Yeah, so that's what we've bought. What do you think? Let us know in the should, comments. Yeah, what do you think we should do? We should do with it is the important thing at the moment. It's just sitting on my drive. What do you think we should do with it? What do you think of it? Are we making a big mistake? Are we morons? Do let us know. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this little video of our uh, 300 pound crap box. <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and yeah. see you next time. Yes, all those things help other people see the video and help show YouTube's algorithm that people should see these videos. So, that stuff, yeah. what he said. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.